named Stevie Johnson. And we did tremendous gates in Denver with Stevie Johnson. And one thing Denver has that most cities don't have is they have loads of really first-class arenas. And the Magnus Center, I remember, and the Pepsi Center. So, and they have more now, you know. So it's not that difficult to get a venue in Denver. And uh, certainly it's a possibility. And that may very well be one of the motivating factors in having a means fight other opponents. Because I know Mike told me that his dream was to defend the title uh, back in Denver. And Bob, to follow up, uh, two other questions. First of all, can you comment on the second round? And uh, how does the second round, off the top of your head, rank with some of the great rounds? The second round, in truth, was the best round that I have seen since the round one in Hagler Hearns. It, it was a better round than either of the two rounds of Timmy's fight with Provodnikov because those were more one-sided rounds. Provodnikov clearly won both of those rounds. But uh, uh, this second round was a classic. They, one guy won, the other guy was ahead. Uh, it was another fight more recent uh, was one of those uh, Morales Barrera fights. Where it went like that in the round. But this was the, gotta be, maybe next whip, Hagler Hearns, the first round, the best round I've ever seen. And then my last question for you, Bob, is there anything to this? Over the last few months, even today, you know, I had Golovkin had an unbelievable knockout. I don't know if you had a chance to see it. You know, you had the great fight here last week. You had Timmy Bradley and you had Pacquiao Marquez. All of a sudden, you seem you're making the matches that people wanted to see, and you're getting the kind of results uh, that that the fans want to see. Why do you think that is? Well, fans want to see. Fans want to see action, and they want to see exciting fights. That's what the fans want to see. Now, some people who are involved in boxing want to sign fighters and have them fight to cans and have networks to pay to show those fights, and it goes on and on and on. That's not what the fans want. The fans want Bradley and Provodnica. Hey, Lou DiBella is going to be doing a fight a little later this year uh, with Golovkin against Mac. Now, I am a promoter, I like, love boxing, but that fight I would pay to see. I mean, that's going to be a hell of a fight. So, I think that it's not only us, that top rank, I think that other promoters uh, who don't have a sinecure from a particular network uh, also have uh, that type of mentality. So I think it's great, great news for boxing fans because we're going to give them competition. God damn, you see some of these uh, games uh, in March Madness where in the last uh, four seconds somebody sinks a basket and, and, and wins the game. And it's like a nail bite right to the end. Well, that's why fans love to watch it. Fans love to watch boxing if it's exciting, if it's competitive, and not if it's a parent's fight. Now, for years, we were fed a steady diet of this kid, Berto, with guys that nobody remembers their names. That cost millions of dollars to one of the networks. And what did they get for, from it? Guts. And what did the their subscribers get the finger. <laughs> and some guy who used to be in the music business raped HBO and hoodwinked the public. And that hopefully now is over. Except maybe the network that gives out Cinecures. Now, but they're second, so who cares about that? 
Nobody watches them anyway. Hey, Bob, uh, two questions really quickly. Uh, with uh, Rios uh, Alvarado too and Bradley Provodnikov, uh, would you say that this month was one of the better months in your company has had? And then uh, what are your thoughts on Husker De La Hoya tweeting minutes before uh, Rios Alvarado started that he canceled his HBO subscription? Well, that's, and Husker is, 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 is ab absolutely, you know, uh, one of the brainiest guys that I've ever known. And he probably did it while he was putting on those uh, kind of leggings. Oh. <laughs> 